Hey folks, we told you a little bit about our OxyGreen fruit and vegetable sanitizing machine. So now I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with this machine. So today what we're going to do is we're going to sanitize some fruits and vegetables. We'll fill up a bathtub and show you how you can ozonate your bath water. This is an extremely powerful ozone generator. This machine puts out a whopping 5,000 milligrams an hour. In our 2019 model of the uh, fruit and veggie sanitizer is an amazing machine. It has a lot of features. It comes with all of the things you see here. It comes with a tube to connect it to an oxygen concentrator. So if you want to make pure ozone for medical experimentation, this is the machine for you. It has the oxygen input or the, uh, and the ozone output, or you can use regular ambient air input. It comes with a Venturi, so if you want to connect this into a permanent water line, this half inch Venturi allows you to take your ozone output, connect it to your Venturi, and then plumb it directly into the water line so you can inject ozone into a water stream. It comes with the bottle water ozone air stone, it comes with the standard ozone air stone, and it comes with a whopping three inch ozone air stone for fruits, veggies, and bathtubs. You know, and folks, this machine is just an amazing, uh, amazing ozone generator. So when you turn it on, it has a, a timer. It's got your output showing your volts and your amps and your watts, your energy consumed. It has two compressors, one for bottled bottle water or cups of water, and a second one to do uh, deeper water to overcome what's called head pressure when you're doing a bathtub or when you're doing uh, your, your fruits and veggies. And it's very simple to connect. We're going to take this and connect it to the push fitting of the ozone out. In order to connect it to our ozone air stone, we have this handy little adapter that's included in the kit with you. You just simply insert it, connect it to the air stone, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill up your sink. You need to have lots of water in the sink so that you can sub completely submerge your fruits and your veggies. Today I've got some limes. You know, these are not organic limes. But they have some traces of pesticides. We're going to put those in the sink. We've got some cauliflower. We've got some broccoli. Whenever I come home from the grocery store, folks, I like to fill up this sink full of water, add the uh, vegetables and the fruits to the water, and just get rid of all of those pesticide residues. I've got some apples and some lemons we're going to do today. and some oranges. Now what this is going to do, folks, is it's going to oxidize all the pesticides, oxidize all of the um, trace uh, potential hormones even some of these companies use. It's going to destroy the uh, NPK fertilizer residues and um, even the glyphosate stuff that could be potentially in these fruits and vegetables. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drop the stone into our sink. We're going to wait for our water to get a little bit higher over these uh, the vegetables. And now we've got both stones on, so we're making a lot of bubbles. And we're going to turn that ozone up. So this is our rheostat dial. And this allows us to determine just how much ozone we're making. We want to make a little less ozone, we turn it down. We want to make a little more ozone, we turn it up. And we're going to let those vegetables soak in that water for about 20 minutes. show you exactly what this looks like. Now folks, this sink is just loaded with ozone bubbling through there, sterilizing those vegetables, oxidizing the pesticides, oxidizing all of the toxins that come with our adulterated non-organic foods. 
and this will let our fruits and vegetables stay fresher, longer. It'll get rid of the um, petrochemical residues that come with our fruits and our vegetables. And in the end, we'll have healthier food, fruits, healthier vegetables, longer shelf life, and no toxic residues. So, folks, if you're looking for a machine that is not a wimpy little ozone generator, but a serious high-powered blaster that'll last you a very long time, the OxyGreen Blaster uh, Fruit and Vegetable Sanitizer is really an amazing machine. So folks, what's your body's largest organ? It's your skin. What's the best way to get ozone into the body? By soaking your, your body in a tub full of ozonated water. The 5,000 milligram per hour uh, uh, BioBlaster Fruit and Veggie Sanitizer also is an amazing tool for ozonating a bathtub full of water. We're going to show you close up just how much power this amazing machine is. And with both pumps going, how you can overcome that head pressure in a tub full of water so you can start getting the healing benefits of ozone in your bathtub using the fruit and veggie sanitizer. Hey folks, so here we have the fruit and veggie sanitizer. We've got a tub full of water that's been charging for six minutes. And as you'll see, it is just a rip roaring bubbling ozone bath and that ozone is charging up that water I let it charge for up to 40 minutes before I soak in that tub and over the next 20 minutes to a half an hour that ozone gets into the bloodstream and supercharges the immune system folks if you're looking for a high-powered not sissy tough really really amazing ozone generator that has the power to charge up an entire bathtub the bioblaster fruit and veggie sanitizer is the machine for you